some of the most popular SUVs on the market may not be the best ones out there. They find themselves on the list of the most unreliable SUVs on the planet. Some of the ratings for the next model year are figured out from the previous models because there's no actual owner feedback yet. Still, if the car maker does not make any significant changes for the new year, the same old problems can be expected, if not guaranteed. So let's take a look at 10 SUVs you should avoid until the reliability issues are taken care of. Number 10, the 2022 Ford Mustang Mach-E. Considering the fact that the Ford Mustang Mach-E was one of the first electric vehicles to rival Tesla, it comes as a surprise to find it on the 10 most unreliable SUV lists. But here it is, coming in 10th place. The Mach-E is fun to drive and is smooth during acceleration, deceleration, and cornering. Still, like all new vehicles, it has some reported issues with the in-car electronics. Some of the problems in the EV include freezing infotainment displays and charging problems. There have also been electrical issues, battery concerns, and other problems. But the biggest problem with the 2022 Mach-E is in the minor engine category, which means it's prone to oil leaks and computer problems, not to mention premature wear of belts and pulleys. These issues give the 2022 Ford Mustang Mach-E a reliability rating of 4 out of 100. Now, Ford has been working to deal with these issues and has already made notable improvements since the electric SUV came to market. Ford has already issued recalls for some 2021 and 2022 Mustang Mach-E's. It has also provided various software updates related to some of the reliability concerns. Number 9. The 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan The 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan is an SUV designed to rival the American versions by offering European appeal, which to be fair, it does give the occupants. The vehicle has some excellent components, but because of the five or six common issues reported, Tiguan gets a reliability rating of 3 out of 100. The main issues that owners have listed include problems with the in-car electronics, minor transmission problems, major and minor engine issues, and the failure of engine cooling components. Consumer Reports says, quote, We expect the 2022 Tiguan will be much less reliable than the average new car. This prediction is based on data from 2019, 2020, and 2021 models. End quote. They identified 17 potential trouble spots ranging from the engine, transmission and brakes to power equipment and the electrical system. And if that wasn't bad enough, there's also a current recall. A loose brake pipe nut may allow brake fluid to leak, extending the distance required to stop and increasing the risk of a crash. So says Consumer Reports. Number 8. The Mercedes-Benz GLE Besides having a frustrating infotainment system, the GLE also exhibits troubling ride quality problems. It leans too hard into corners, and some bumps cause shakes throughout the interior. The GLE has received a poor reliability rating for three years running due to several issues. The biggest areas of concern are the electronics and climate control system. The GLE has been trouble prone, and for the 2021 model, there were eight recalls. Reasons for this include the electronic stability control pulling to one side during activation, dashboard trim impairing passenger airbag deployment, and the ever problematic e-call system that fails or gives emergency responders the wrong location a common Mercedes failing. So far, the 2022 model has been recall free. Its overall JD Power score is 80 out of 100, and its quality and reliability score is 78. The 2022 Audi Q7 scores only 72 overall, while the 2022 BMW X5 score is 78. The standard Mercedes warranty is not great covering the car for four years or 50,000 basic miles. 
with warranty and maintenance extensions costing extra. Number 7. The Lincoln Aviator Lincoln has always been a brand that promotes comfort, amenities, and luxury with its vehicle line. The 2020 Lincoln Aviator is certainly no exception. The Lincoln Aviator is a reliable luxury midsize SUV that's all about elegance, spacious interiors, and performance. The upscale SUV offers an essentially all-new look and feel with all the advanced features you'd expect from a Lincoln. But for some consumers, bells and whistles are nice, but overall vehicle reliability is the primary concern. Like Corsair's controls, the Lincoln Aviator's controls annoyed drivers. This SUV also has many significant trouble areas, from body hardware to major transmission components. Some of the most common Lincoln Aviator problems are faulty infotainment systems and radio, cracked rear panels, and the engine shutting off while driving. Now before we move on to number 6, if you've been enjoying this video so far, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos just like this one. Shifting gears for the second portion of our video, the number 6 car is the Genesis GV80. The first SUV from Genesis comes with two available engines, a 2.5-liter inline 4-turbo that puts out 300 horsepower and 311 pound-foot of torque, and a 3.5-liter V6 turbo that puts out 375 horsepower and 391 pound-foot of torque. It only has one transmission available, an 8-speed automatic, and is available with front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive for the V6. Now, even though there has been a lot of hype around the first luxury SUV from Genesis, the GV80 has run into a lot of problems right out of the gate. In addition to recalls and complaints, one reviewer even said it delivered an atrocious ride. But one thing you should watch out for major in-car electronics issues in the 2022 Genesis GV80. The infotainment system is challenging to master, especially when using the rotary dial controller. Furthermore, some of the contrasting colors on the controls make them hard to read. Here we are at number 5 with the Mercedes-Benz GLS. A common complaint that a lot of owners have with the first generation GLS is that the standard halogen headlights low beams are not bright enough to properly see the road at night. The halogen headlights came standard on the 27 through 2019 model. On the 2017 to 2019 model years of the GLS, as well as on the older GL models. The brighter LED headlights were only available as an option in the first generation GLS. Although halogen headlights have been used in vehicles for several decades with great success, GLS owners report that their standard headlights are not as bright as those found in other vehicles. Owners of the initial Mercedes-Benz GLS models have also experienced major issues with climate systems and brakes. Various drive problems, such as those related to the all-wheel drive and electronic stability control, are also expected. Shifting from a cold start can sometimes send shutters throughout the cabin. The 2022 Mercedes-Benz GLS also tends to roll back when it starts moving again and after stopping on a hill. Number 4. The Cadillac XT4 Now, in the past, surveys uncovered major transmission problems, climate system issues, and malfunctioning power equipment inside the Cadillac XT4. Although its transmission seems to operate smoothly during its road test, the engine produced a worrisome gravelly sound. Exterior noises are hardly noticeable, though ignoring the XT4's stiff suspension is much more difficult. The cabin surrounds riders with plenty of padded surfaces, but the large door sills make entry and exit unnecessarily tricky. One plus is that most of the climate and infotainment controls are easy to understand. That is, after you've adjusted the Cadillac's unusual user experience interface. Number 3. The Alfa Romeo Stelvio 
The Stelvio has been designed to outhandle the opposition. That means it has a rather firm ride. Now that's not to say that it bangs over the potholes or big road imperfections, but it does feel quite unsettled at low speeds, shoving you around in your seat. At higher speeds, the sports-oriented suspension setup is better, dealing with the crests and compressions with fluency and finesse that usually is reserved for the best sports saloon. However, the Stevio's road test uncovered many problems. Though the Stevio exhibits agile handling, the engine has some turbo lag at lower speeds. The suspension is also rough at times, and the brakes don't provide smooth stopping power. In addition, the interior has some weird layout issues and several cheap components feel out of place in an otherwise upscale entry. Visibility is also severely compromised from many angles. The Stelvio's engines are also not particularly quiet. The entry-level 197 horsepower 2.0 liter petrol sounds rough even when moving slowly and fails to sound at all sporty. If you take the higher powered 2.0 liter near its rev limiter, it does develop a slightly harsh tone. But when you're driving it normally, it's pretty unremarkable. Coming in at second place, it's the Lincoln Corsair. The Lincoln Corsair debuted in 2020. However, buyers should be on the lookout for minor transmission and in-car electronics issues. Body structure programs also might arise. The Lincoln Corsair's owners have great things to say about this SUV, especially regarding its pristine cabin and responsive powertrain. However, some confusing steering wheel and gauge selector controls can become frustrating over time. Complaints about the structure of the vehicle are considerably higher than complaints about performance. However, brakes are a problem area, which affects backover protection. And if your SUV brakes don't work properly, you could be in big trouble. And finally, coming in at number one, the Volvo XC90. Volvo is the kind of car manufacturer that is assumed to be reliable and safe. And it's a legitimate surprise when their vehicles turn out to be less than either one of those things. Even though the Volvo XC90's braking power is excellent, brake failure has been a consistent problem with this model. There have also been body integrity issues and mechanical and electrical failures. The Volvo XC90 might have a gorgeous interior, but its rough ride makes the overall driving experience uncomfortable. Apart from that, the car engine comes with undignified noises and subpar fuel economy. All previous models of the car have a reliability rating of one of five. So the 2022 Volvo XC90 is an SUV you will probably want to avoid. Although the 2022 Volvo XC90 has a poor reliability rating, that doesn't mean that you have to steer clear of Volvo altogether. 2022 Volvo XC40 and XC60 respectively may be smaller SUVs, but they also offer higher reliability ratings. They just might be a better alternative to the 2022 Volvo XC90. Hey, and that's our list for today. 10 luxury SUVs you should probably steer clear of. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop us a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next one.